This photo display project is a beautiful and unique way for you to display those great pictures you've taken of family and friends. And I have got lots of useful tips and tricks to share that'll make the build go really smooth. First tip, to save you some time and make things more manageable, have Lowe's cut the back piece for you. You'll actually get two backs out of your sheet of plywood, so you could make matching displays if you like. With the back already cut, you can focus on cutting the legs. And with the legs, it's important that you have a perfect match. So a great trick to get that perfect match is to put some double-sided carpet tape between your boards and cut them at the same time. This trick really helps cut down on any measuring discrepancies. While your boards are still together, you want to mark on the back side of your legs where your shelves will need to go. To build your display shelves, you want to cut your edging and shelf pieces longer than needed because you're going to actually cut those down to fit. And since these shelves have a lip on them, I'm using another piece of edging as a spacer. And these shelves get glued together, so a great tip when you're gluing things so that the glue doesn't actually stick to my work surface or my spacer, I have a piece of painter's tape all along the edge. When the shelves are dry, you're ready to cut them to fit your back. I'm placing my spacer on the back side to prevent any chip out as I make my cuts. So you want to cut one end flush, then take it to your back and mark for your second cut. You'll get a perfect fit every time. We're almost ready to assemble, but before we do, we want to be sure to sand all of our parts. They're a lot easier to work with like this. And because this piece is going to be getting a darker stain, a good tip on how to sand, you want to always sand with the grain. The darker stain will show any scratches. So when you get ready to do that final pass with your sanding block, be sure to wipe it down with a tack cloth. Now to secure our shelves into place, we're going to use some wood glue, and then on each end we're going to use one screw and a decorative trim washer. As you work your way down, it's a good idea to clamp one leg to your bench and then leave the other one free. That way you can open things up to insert your shelves and you're not going to be getting glue all over the place. When you install the back, you want to draw a line where all of your shelves are so you know exactly where to drive your screws. You also want to mask off the back side of your legs where your cleats are going to get installed because these get glued in place and glue will not stick to stain. To stain your display, you want to remove the back side and then wipe everything down with a tack cloth. Then simply follow the steps to stain and seal the piece. When your finish is dried, you're going to put everything back together and then you're going to reinforce the back by gluing the cleats into place. Once your cleats are dry, it's ready to install. And to secure this to the wall, you want to use these small L brackets that you're going to easily bend to get that same angle that's on your feet. Position your shelf against the wall, find your studs, and screw everything into place. It's sturdy and pretty spectacular. Lots of room for photos, maybe a little artwork. For more great projects just like this, go to lowes.com slash weekendprojects.